Hi, I'm Bill Weiss. Thanks for joining me today. You know, some say our soul is only eternal once we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. In other words, if we don't receive Him as our Lord and Savior, our soul either sleeps at death, as soul sleep teaches, or it ceases to exist at death, as annihilationism teaches. Well, these beliefs are false. Man is the only creature made in God's image, as Genesis 1.26 states, and since God is eternal, so are we. So listen to these verses. Psalms 26.9 says, Gather not my soul with sinners. In other words, your soul is going to live forever in one place or the other. And David didn't want it to be gathered with sinners. Psalms 49.15 says, God will redeem my soul from the power of Sheol. Isaiah 38.17 says, Thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of destruction. Job 33.28 he will redeem his soul from going down into the pit. And if you didn't get it yet, Proverbs 23, 14 says, and he shall deliver his soul from hell. So your soul still exists after death. If you're not a Christian, you're in hell. Psalms 55, 23 says, but thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Psalms 9, 15, the heathen are sunk down into the pit. And in Ezekiel 32, 21, it says, They shall speak out of the midst of hell. People are in hell and they speak. They bear their shame and so forth, as Ezekiel 32 points out. Isaiah 14, 9 and 10 says, Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. They will say, Art thou become weak as we? They're speaking in hell, so they obviously still exist. Their soul still exists. And Proverbs 9, 18 says, Her guests are in the depths of hell. You know, and in Luke 16, Jesus talked about the rich man that was suffering in hell. Uh, he was in the flames of torment and wanted a drop of water to cool his tongue. This is the current hell, or Hades, and that's where people go if they deny Jesus as their Lord and Savior. 1 Samuel 25, 29 says, The souls of thy enemies, uh, they shall be slung out uh, as out of the middle of a sling. So yes, our soul is eternal, and you will live in one place or the other. Now, our beliefs should only be based on the Word of God.